Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy, and today I want to share a review of The Skull by John Classen, which is an absolutely gorgeous little book. I had had a few people recommend this book, or had heard a few people recommend this book, and I have been meaning to pick it up for absolutely ages, and I absolutely adored it. I thought it was just such a great fun little read. And John Classen has a really great storytelling style. I love his picture books. So to get something that is a little bit longer, it's kind of a chapter book, kind of a picture book, and it's really, really wonderful. So the blurb says, this is an old story. It's about a girl named Attila who runs away. It's also about a house in the woods and a skull who lives there and a secret the skull has and the night that Attila finds out what that secret is. Award-winning picture book creator John Classen brings his gift for storytelling to this spooky adaptation of a traditional Tyrolean folktale. So this is an adaptation of a folktale, and I remember reading that John Classen had read this folktale in a library while he was researching something else, and it stuck with him, and he kind of remembered it, and he thought about it often, and when he emailed the librarians to find out what the story was called because he'd forgotten the name of it. They eventually found it, found the title and sent it back to him and he read it again and he realized that he had changed the story in his head. So he'd read it and it had stuck with him but over time it had evolved into its own thing which is something that we all do right? And so he decided to write down the way that the story went in his head and so we got the skull which is I think a really cool backstory for a book. And so we have Attila, she does run away from home and she stumbles across this house in the middle of the woods and she meets this skull. And the skull has a secret and that's the fact that the skull is haunted by a headless skeleton that appears at night and it means that no one ever stays in the house with the skull. The skull is desperately lonely but no one ever stays because the skeleton scares them away. And Attila is a very brave young girl and she decides that she is going to help rid the house of the haunted skeleton and that's what she sets out to do. It is a story about a very independent girl and it is about a very unlikely friendship. The illustrations are absolutely gorgeous. The colour palette in this book is so lovely. It very much fits the theme of this book which is a little bit, you know, a little bit spooky and a little bit gloomy at times but also a little bit hopeful at times and we just have these gorgeous blacks and blues and peach tones that just weave together the entire story. So thank you to everyone who recommended this book to me and just generally recommended the book because it was absolutely wonderful. I had the best time reading it and now I need to go and say what I haven't read by John Classen because clearly this is an author that I adore. I will leave links to information about the book and the author down below so if you want to find out more information you can. Otherwise feel free to share either your favourite John Classen book if you have read John Classen before or recommendations that you think would be similar along the same kind of lines as The Skull, a folktale or an adaptation of a folktale that you just found really fantastic. Otherwise thank you very much for watching. I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.